another video from Johnny Vlogger. Uh, car fix videos. Today we're gonna change a expansion tank. Expansion tank on a Nissan Micro K11. 2000, one litre. Okay, so we've removed the battery. We've removed the old expansion tank. And now, here's the old one. It's all cracked and broken, and it's all deteriorated, the plastic. I mean, it's a 20-year-old 20, 20 car, so that's the original one. You have to expect stuff to wear out, and obviously that's worn out. It's quite a common problem on these, actually. They very... I don't know what happens to the plastic. It just goes thin, or it just breaks. It becomes very flimsy and fragile, as soon as you put your finger on it, it breaks. So what I did, I thought I'd treat this little car that I recently purchased, and I bought a new one on eBay, and it was £12.78. And, as you can see, it's a lot cleaner, and the plastic looks a lot stronger. So I'm pressing my hand on it, and it, nothing's happening. If I press my hand on there, see, look, it just breaks. It's crap. Cheap. So, as you can see, there's two holes here, one there and there, and there's a pipe connection, this bit here, from the radiator, it's like an overflow pipe, that just clipped on there, that bit, so all you've got to do is undo it with a 10mm socket, there's a bolt hole there, and a bolt hole just up here, if you can see that where my little finger is in there there's another one and what you do, you undo this one with the uh, air filter pipe and what you do, you take the back out and you've got all access you've got all access then you can move this about to get the back out and the batteries out of the way so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put the new one back in a bit windy today and it's freezing cold. Right, so we've got their new tank. So basically we get it in place, put the um, put the overflow pipe on first I suppose. There was a little white clip holding this on. So there you can see I've just pushed it on. There was a clip hole in this one, on the old one, but it broke, but I think that'll be alright anyway. It's quite tight. So, right, so we're pushing that into place. Uh, I'm looking at this now and it doesn't even look like it. it might not fit. I hope it does bloody fit. Okay, so we're attempting to fit this expansion tank in. We've decided you have to fit it on the left first but something tells me even that's not going to do it no. this uh, pattern part doesn't fit properly this is what happens when you don't buy genuine parts they don't fit and as usual I'm out in the freezing cold you want it to be done in two minutes and then it takes an hour we need to file it or drill it. We're gonna have to file the um we're gonna have to file it. Drill it I think, cut the mill, it's a couple of mil out. So I'm gonna take it all out again. We will get it in eventually. bad the, it doesn't line up the holes. So these holes don't line up. Hello, you alright? Not too bad. Right, so as you can see I'm lining that up and the holes don't match. 
is about three millimeter out. Right, so I've had to modify this tank. I've had to drill the left and right holes on this pattern part expansion tank because it didn't line up with the holes on the inner wing whereas the original did. Uh, the holes are slightly in more about two three millimeter out so I've drilled them as you can see so hopefully now that will fit. So the first thing we do is we'll put the overflow pipe on, push that in in on the left first, so that's lining up, and we'll fit the left one in first. Not the best day to do this. Well, you know, I'll do it on board. Right, so that's going in. That's partly in. Let's see if the other one goes in, and then I can tighten them up. And then it's job done, isn't it? So I just pay dividends. Let's see if it tightens up. I think we've done it. It feels good. Let's tighten up. There we go. Right, that's that one. Yeah, looks like we've finally done it. So it wasn't too bad. drill the holes a bit bigger, wider, so it lines up. So there you go. That's it now, the new expansion tank's in, I've tightened it up there, I've tightened it up there, I've modified it. Uh, we just got to put the battery back now. Go 35 quid on eBay. Quite a good price. Some people now have paid 100 quid for one of these batteries on a micro. Crazy money. Certainly wouldn't pay that. Just shows you got you got to shop around in this day and age. People, there's a lot of people out there ripping people off. I mean, they shouldn't be allowed to do it. Really, it's naughty. So that's quite tight now. Let's get this one a bit tighter. There we go, that's tight, that's not going anywhere. That's 
that's it, job done. So I hope you like watching my video. If you did, then please don't forget to click the like button, thumbs up, click the subscribe button on the top right of the screen, the red button that is, and then there's a little bell next to it, the notification. Click on that one and all. Share the video with your friends if uh, you liked it. And uh, look out for my next videos. So, from Johnny Vlogger, thanks for watching. See you next time.